Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to some ultimate team now today the goal is simple man We got three weeks remaining in the season We need to win two games in order to secure ourselves a first round bye. now before we do that Here's a look at the lineup so far. Nothing's changing now The reason why I haven't made any really in-season changes is because all of my coins have been going to guess who videos and stuff like that so I'm sure you guys would rather see that anyways instead of me making a bunch of changes in the regular season now we need to get two wins in three weeks we should be able to do it with the way we've been playing but to start things off in this game it's not looking so hot because Shane Vereen on third and seven is gonna come away with a huge touchdown run but that's alright we get behind early but we got a running game of our own that's Le'Veon Bell getting the carry for 23 yards and sometimes it's also a throwback Arian Foster now first and ten Teddy Bridgewater look at that catch by Amari Cooper that card only going for like 30,000 coins I would recommend them to anybody now third and four we go back to Le'Veon Bell here on first and ten now we bring in Arian Foster so we're keeping both running backs fresh and it's definitely something I've you know really like to do this year and Mutt here at second and six that probably could have been a touchdown run I cut it inside too early we end up tripping over our own linemen and yeah it ends up going nowhere actually ends up going for a loss so on third and eight we get a chance to hit Amari Cooper but I didn't want to risk it so I tried getting the outside with Teddy Bridgewater but there is Calais Campbell to get the sack so with 17 seconds remaining so far we've really done nothing but look at this interception by Night Train Lane makes the diving pick ends up getting back up turning on the speed and getting in the end zone for an absolutely ridiculous pick six I mean that's like a cheat code because I didn't do anything to deserve that that was all the computer in Night Train Lane that car man definitely amazing now we get back in the second half we get all the momentum now after that pick six and Arian Foster just doing what he's done all season breaking out of tackles and taking this one 73 yards for the touchdown now one thing I've noticed is it seems like running backs with high strength break a lot of tackles it may even be more important than trucking and stiff arming so next time you go to buy a running back maybe take a look at his strength and you'll probably definitely notice the difference now in the second half up 17 to 7 now still riding that huge momentum shift by night train lane after that pick six our defense really clamped up here on third and 12 tony romo has nowhere to go and you guys see he's one for nine and one of those incompletions was an interception now he decided to go for it from his own 20 yard line definitely not smart we end up getting through with the sack with mccoy i didn't mean to use her the d line but i got stuck once he hiked the ball and then the next play we find keenan allen for the touchdown so we got down early came back thanks to night train lane absolutely ridiculous pick six one of the best ones i've seen in madden and we go on to win that game so with two weeks remaining all we got to do is get one more win now you guys see i'm showing you the kickoff which means it's probably going to be a fumble or maybe a touchdown and dre archer is going to turn on the speed and just like that that may actually be our first kick return of the year we've had a punt return that may be our first kick return of madden 16 which is crazy because we had quite a few last year but look at this. I'm showing you guys another kickoff, which means it's probably going to be a turnover or a touchdown. Or maybe I just wanted to trick you guys because nothing happened. and went out the back of the end zone. So down 7 to nothing. It's going to be interesting to see how my opponent's going to respond. Sometimes people just kind of freak out once they get down and just go pass, pass, pass. This guy, he wasn't one of those people. He knew he had Terrell Davis, and he was going to run the rock with him. Now, once we started to stack the box, he goes play action, which is smart. And his tight end, Kelsey's going to break a couple of tackles. And just like that, he's over midfield. Now, first and 10, he goes right back to Terrell Davis and TD, man, for the price. Again, a very, very good player. Going for like 120K, breaks a lot of tackles, has some good speed. Did win us a Super Bowl this year in Mutt 16, and now we're trying to contain him here. Now, third and four, we bring a blitz, and Andy Dalton feels the pressure, and Andy Dalton throws the interception. Now, he went back to the same exact play that he ran a couple of times on that drive, and we put Levante David in the perfect position and he ended up making the play. Now, we didn't do anything on offense, but we had great field position. So we take the field goal, and we take a 10-0 lead in this one. But my opponent, again, he's not one of those people that's going to freak out. He's going to continue to run the ball. And he's going to continue to run his scheme. Once again, goes back to Kelsey and Andy Dalton. He's 3 for 6, 61 yards. And now with a new quarter and a new set of downs, he's going to go with the toss play. And TD is going to find some open room and celebrate his way into the end zone. So shout out to my opponent, man. He kept running his offense, definitely was working, and that's going to make things 10-7. to 7. Now, we have plenty of time remaining. You guys see Teddy Bridgewater somehow avoided the sack, just throws it up for Keenan Allen, and somehow Keenan Allen makes a play and turns absolutely nothing into a very big something. Comes away with a 47-yard reception. Shout out to Teddy Bridgewater and Keenan Allen, man. Heck 
of a play by both of them. Very next play, we go right to Amari Cooper. He does get hurt, which is unfortunate, but it's all right because we got Arian Foster and throwback Arian Foster seems to break a heck of a lot of tackles and find the end zone a heck of a lot of times. You guys see Amari Cooper. He's going to be fine. He's going to come right back in the game. So up 17-7. to Now my opponent has to start passing more. And yeah, Andy Dalton isn't doing such a great job at that one. He throws that one right to Jimmy Smith. And we start off with great field position. But the problem is Arian Foster is going to give that one right back. He must have felt bad. Like, you guys gave us this. So, yeah, now I'm going to give it right back. But it kind of hurts because now the next play, Andy Dalton's going to find his tight end streaking down the field. And just like that, things are now 17-14. to 14. Plus, he gets the ball to start the second half. But in the second half, he's going right back to Kelsey. And you guys see me getting the user interception with that BCA Reggie Nelson. Now, even though Arian Foster did fumble for us and it resulted in a touchdown for him, it's really the only bad thing he's done for us all year. So we're going to continue to pound the rock here. Here on second and two, Arian Foster right up the middle. The guy can run to the outside. He can run up the middle. It doesn't matter, man. Arian Foster again on first and 10, picking up a nice chunk of seven yards. Now, on second and three, I noticed he started to bring the blitz. So we're going to look for Barnage on the seam. You guys see he's wide open, but unfortunately, our right guard. I'm not sure who that is, but he completely missed that block. So on fourth and 11, only up three points. A field goal doesn't do much for us. I decided to go for it. I was frustrated. I usually play dumb when I'm mad, but hey, it pays off. We end up finding Barnage for the touchdown. So up 10 with five minutes remaining in the game. My opponent drove right down the field, but on second and three, Andy Dalton throws another interception right to us again. We're using with Reggie Nelson, and that probably should have been a pick six, but for whatever reason, when you get interceptions in Madden, your player kind of starts to turn the wrong way. I don't know. If there's something I can do to avoid that, let me know. I've tried not touching the controller. I've tried pushing it the opposite way. I've tried pushing it the way you probably should. Nothing seems to work for us, but that turnover was definitely huge because now we're up 10. We get the ball in field goal range. This game is essentially over with the score. Third and two, he brings the blitz, and we finally pass for the first time in the drive. Amari Cooper, you guys see it. That might be another LeBron celebration in the game, but Andy Dalton threw six interceptions. But hey, man, shout out to my opponent. Definitely a great game, but just like that, this team right here has qualified for a first round bye. I don't, I don't know why I said qualify, but anyways, like I said, tons of guess who's coming this week. That's where all my coins have been going. I'm gonna do a guess who on 2K as well. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of crazy stuff. The game plays back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.